Okay, so I've got my panel off the front, so let's me get my big ass in here. I got the side door open so that I can see and get into things. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snip these two zip ties. My cameraman's still asleep, so it's a little difficult for me to do this by myself, so y'all bear with me. Just be careful you don't cut the damn airline. Okay, now that I've freed that, I can make sure these wiggle, and then I can get in here underneath and loosen these knobs. So, knob comes off, just slide it down, and then do your damnedest to get this little metal thing off. Okay, now that's free and I can wiggle. I'll be right back after I do the next one. Welcome to another edition of the Angry Craftsman. I'm Tommy. Today we're going to discuss the installation of the digital air gauge uh, for the Thunder Lasers. I, I guess it could be for anything. However, this one's specifically designed for the Thunder Laser. Um, you can find this on Etsy at 3D Prints by Chris, and I'll leave a link in the description uh, to his Etsy page. So earlier today, I installed uh, the first one on our uh, 3580, uh, got the feel for it, made sure I understood what was going on and, and able to understand the PDF that's provided. And then we videoed the installation on the Thunder 51130. So after you watch the whole installation, then we'll discuss what we come up with and we'll see you shortly. Okay, so I've got it. I can pull these out and I can just see enough. So what you wanna do is pick one at a time. Look at where your pins are and plugs. So for mine, the brown wire comes in to where it says 24 volt. And then no matter which way I look at it, I wanna make sure that I annotate which color goes to what post. So my black wire goes to the opposite side, little blue tab, there's nothing on it. The brown wire has 24 volts on it. And then if I rotate it so that the blue is towards me without anything, my yellow and green wire is on top and my blue wire is in the middle. Now let's look at the low side. So the low side There's the 24 volts. However, this wire that connects to it is black. Brown is on the opposite side. So if my brown's to my left, my green and my yellow are up top with my blue in the middle. So make sure you write this down, take photos because you're gonna disconnect these things uh, and then you gotta get them back together correctly. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pull the plugs and then I'm going to uh, move the wire from outside of the metal. So there's one up here that you probably can't see worth a damn. Pull the, pull the wire out so that you can get a little extra space. Okay, so what I've done is on my little dry erase board, I have made notes so that I know that the black, for the low air side, the black goes to the 24 volt. The brown is over by itself, the blue is in the middle, and the yellow and green will be on top when it's in this configuration from my view. The same thing with the hot, the high side. Brown goes to the one that says 24 volt, black's on the opposite side of it, blue's in the middle, and then as I turn it so that I'm seeing the same thing, the yellow and green will be on top. Okay, after a minute of struggling with some damn pliers, we finally got the plug off. I'm doing one side at a time. So 
These are gonna come back down through. They're all right here. I'm gonna take these off so I don't lose them. I'm gonna figure out which wire is what. And I am going to gently move them down from there. Now, I know, because I've already done one laser this morning, that so I'm going to stick my high air back up so that I keep high and low air separate. Let me do the low air side, same steps, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so they're both back off, or they're off now, back through the hole, so I can make sure that I know which one's which. You know, obviously high is on the left, low is on the right. Uh, now I'm going to install the switches into the housing. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, your housing may look a little different, mine, I'll explain that one in a bit. So that goes in. And for me, it kind of pushes and threads. So before I forget, I've also removed, there's a little rubber gasket that would sit right here. I've also removed it. It allows for it to fit a whole lot better. Now, the directions call for putting the metal back on. Uh, however, I realize that I never get a good seat on it. So if you got fat fingers, this part is going to suck. Sorry about hitting the camera. So y'all get the general idea. I'm gonna put these damn things in off camera because uh, for me, they're a pain in the ass. Okay, finally got those done. Now, bear with the camera angle. I got no place else to set it up. So I'm gonna work on my high air, which is this side. And I know that as I look in here, I've got the blue with nothing on it set towards me. So on this side, that gets black. So all I do is slide that back in place. Now, I also know that the middle is blue because I'm looking at my wiring diagram. So, that just gets slipped back on. And then the side that I can't see says 12 volt. That gets my brown. Okay, so those three are back on. This is the one that could get a little confusing. So I know looking at my wiring diagram, if my brown is on my right as I'm looking at it, then this should go on top. Now worst case is, is I've got this screwed up and I have to pull it out and switch it around when it's time to turn the power on. Now moving to the low side. I've got the low side here, if you can see. So my far pin, and then my closer pin, and I can see there's nothing on that, so that doesn't have anything, uh, But and this side should have the 24 volt. So for mine, the 24 volt gets black on this side. So I do the same thing, black, blue, I know always goes in the middle, and then brown, and if you got fat fingers, this kind of sucks, okay? And now all I have left to do is connect my yellow and green. So I look back at my wiring diagram. 
I know where my brown is. I know where my black is. And then I'm in place. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed this cable through the hole. Just like that. And then I am going to take the blue air hose that's provided and I'm gonna slide that up. And I'm gonna make sure it's in place. Now that I'm set, I can move back down to the underside of it and fix all the wiring. Okay, now we go back to our end. You should have unplugged this. But, so it says too light. With that type of clip on it, you have that type of clip and then two sensor. Underneath, you find the light, find the red and black wire, and unplug it. Okay, so we have to the light. And then I come back over here and I go, okay, to the light. Now this sucks with one hand while I'm trying to. And it goes together. Okay, so I did this off camera to the sensor and then to your power feed is from there. So you've got this set up right now all that's left is the air hose. So what I'm gonna do is, move that the hell up out of the way. I'm gonna come over here and then I'm going to do my damnedest to disconnect this with one hand uh, and then plug everything in. Okay, so it comes with a short little section. Short little section goes into the Y coupling and then your original hose goes into the bottom of it. And this hose is fed up through and into the bottom of the sensor. Well, I guess it's now time to turn it on and see if it works. Okay, so I'm doing this on camera just to see if I did it right. We'll wait for the everything to initialize. Well, I've got a zero zero, so that tells me that I've got power to it. Let's see what the low does, nothing. Okay, I got the high right. So I'm gonna have to pull it back apart and switch the yellow and green wire. Okay, so now that it's all back together, low air works, and you can see that the readout's working. Until I get it in just the TL timer, the air stays on forever, it seems like. What I've gone and done is just did a little extra security, uh, run some double-sided tape underneath of it. So these are prints for me, uh, not from the, the guy that sells the, the whole product. Okay, Chris also provides some uh, little zip ties that way you can go in there and do your own cable management. 
Uh, I will do this later on. I'm really in no mood to screw around with it right at this moment. So this is how you install the digital air gauge uh, that I sold on Etsy. Uh, I think it's, I don't know, I'll put, a, I'll put the link in the Etsy page in the description. Hopefully we'll do some experiments with this just to see exactly what uh, what this is going to show us and how we're going to be able to repeat air pressures. Uh, whether it's worth it or not, not sure yet. Okay, so if you made it this far, you've watched the entire installation process, um, how it went, and my my thoughts. I think it went okay. Uh, the PDF that's provided uh, was pretty much well thought out. Uh, the pictures. Now, my issue with it was I have a little bit of a reading comprehension problem. So making sure that I understood and going through the steps and the processes. And if this affects you, then that's what this video is for, is to help you walk through. Uh, you saw I actually made mistakes. Uh, the mistakes weren't the end of the world and relatively easy to fix. So in the future, we're going to be doing some more videos on testing the gauge and testing it on different materials. Uh, I personally got these because I wanted to see and dis be able to discuss air pressures um, from the regulator through the machine to, to see actually what PSI we're, we're pushing. Um, do I think that it could be beneficial for you? Absolutely, depending on what you wanna do. Um, so it's completely up to you whether you purchase these. So I told you I'd explain later, so here's the explanation. Mine are purple because that's what I wanted. Um, I made the arrangement with the owner of the shop for the purple, because that's what my wife wanted. He printed us custom stickers as well. Uh, you, when you order yours, is probably going to be a solid color. I think they come in black. They'll have the stickers on, uh, and everything will be together. I had to put mine completely together, and we did a lot of that off camera. Uh, but that was my arrangements. I paid for these. So this is my opinion, paying for the product. He did not send them to me for free. Uh, I'm not giving a review on them. I'm just showing you how to install it because I know some people already have them. Uh, I, I think all in all, it's a fantastic product. I think it'll allow for repeated accuracy uh, if done correctly. So you make your mind up. If you wanna order, the link will be in the description. Uh, I don't even get any kickbacks from this. I get kickbacks from nobody. Uh, there's no sponsorship. So if you want a good product, you know, you make the decision for yourself. I may do a review on this, you know, in months to come after we've played with it a little bit. But if there's a video that you want to see, leave a comment. If, if we have the ability to do it, we'll be more than happy to do it. Um, again, like I normally say, like, subscribe. I don't care. It's completely up to you. If you want to continue to, to see these videos, uh, then you're welcome to subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I hope you learned something and have a great day.